All right, so here we go. We have a flask full of water, and it's connected to some rubber tubing, which is connected to this faucet. You might that think that sounds sort of strange, but as water pours through this tap, um, the water will pull the air out of this tube, which of course is connected to this flask. And what's going to happen to the pressure in the flask? Hopefully we'll get the pressure to drop. We'll get it to drop low enough to where we can get water to boil somewhere around room temperature. So it's not going to be hot water. It'll have some heat in it, room temperature, but it's certainly not going to be what you're used to. So let's turn this on. And it takes a minute for all the air to be evacuated from the flask, but look at it carefully. And the kids in the front row initially will be able to see some tiny bubbles forming at first. Can you zoom in on that for us? As far as it'll go, yeah. Good, perfect. Do you guys see it? Somewhat surprising, isn't it? So some kids will say, well, geez, that's gotten pretty hot. It's boiling, but you can hold it in your hand, and it's simply room temperature. Just that the pressure in here is so low, those water vapor bubbles can expand much more easily because there's no air pressure squishing them or preventing them from forming. So as I drop atmospheric pressure, which I'm doing inside this flask, it's easier for those bubbles to form. The boiling point becomes lower. If I raise the pressure, of course, it's harder for those bubbles to form and the boiling point increases. Okay?